Hello YouTube, my name is Kemal999 and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Madden NFL 19 Hall of Fame Edition for free. First I'll prove to you that the game works. So, a couple of disclaimers before we get into the video, you'll only be able to do anything offline, so offline features and all that shit. And you'll also need to add a couple folder exclusions in your antivirus, one to where you're downloading the game and another to where you're going to be installing it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download and install uTorrent and just have it open like this. We haven't got Madden in there yet, but we'll get to that in a second. You have to click on Options, Preferences and go down to the directories tab and choose where you want to download the game. Make sure that this directory has a folder exclusion on it inside of your antivirus. Once you've added that exclusion, go to gametracks.com and scroll down until we hit the download button. Hit that a couple times until we get the one that we want. This is it. And then click on the mirror one torrent. And that will add the torrent into uTorrent. I'm just getting this pop up because I've already got it in there. If it isn't automatically adding the torrent, then what you can do is copy this link here. Just Control A to select all, Control C to copy. And then go into uTorrent, click on this button up here. Just paste it, it should already be in there. And then click on OK, and that'll add it as well. In try speeding up the download, we're right clicking and going bandwidth allocation and setting that to high. But once the torrent's downloaded, it'll have a dark blue progression bar and say downloading. When it's finished, it will turn to a light green and say seeding. The more seeders and peers a torrent has, the faster others are able to download it. But if you don't care about that, you can just right click on it and stop. And that'll say finished. Once it's either seeding or finished, you can double click on it. That will open up the folder. You can run this verify bin files before installation that goes through. Make sure that you have everything. But as long as you added that folder exclusion, you should be fine. Run the setup. Click on yes. Click OK. Click this little music icon down here to disable the music. Here you can limit the installer to only 2 gigabytes of RAM. It suggests that you do it if you have 8 or less. If you don't know how much RAM you have, you can right click the Windows logo, go system. And scroll down until you see how much RAM. I've got 12, so I'll be fine. Even if you have 8 gigabytes or more, I would tick this box if you plan on doing a bunch of other shit with your computer, like a bunch of Chrome tabs or even running another game. It can completely butcher your PC while it's installing. Click on Next. You have a read through this if you want. Click on Next. Choose where you're going to install the game. Make sure that where you're installing it has a folder exclusion. Click on Next. Click on Next. Then click on Next. Make sure you have these three boxes checked and then click on install. And once that's finished installing, you'll be able to play the game. I'll show you a couple other things. You can right click the shortcut on your desktop, your open file location, go into the underscore Redis folder and run this DirectX from here if you didn't run it after the installer. And if the game isn't running for you and you're not sure why, you can drag this fitgirl.md5 onto this quick SFV and that will go through, check all the files, make sure that nothing's missing or anything. If there is anything missing, then you'll need to go back to this folder and run the verify bin files and make sure that everything's there. If there is, then just make sure that you've added the folder exclusion to where you're installing it. And if any of the bin files come up bad in here, what you can do instead of re-downloading the entire torrent is if you right-click it and go force recheck, that will only download missing files. 
I also normally show you how to change your name in this, but the closest I found is here, and that didn't change the name. It still shows up as Codex. Maybe there's another way, but that's pretty much all there is for this video. If you want any of these games, I've got them all on my channel. But that's pretty much all there is for this video. If you want any of these games, I've got them all on my channel. If there's a game you want, you can leave a comment requesting it. I hope you enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.